I'm good. Hey, flip that mic off. Hey, I, flip that I, mic. Give me one of those Give me some of the Nah, I don't. Nah, they're rehearsals, right, to be fair. On the bass drums. Okay. And so they just yeah, kept no, it so we right. could, like, use that I if they like want to do it again. Okay. okay. In Scandinavia? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Finland. Yeah. Technically. Fair, isn't it? It is. It's like a complete change of pace. Yeah, because you start to say everything's built up. Brandy, it's a lot more. Mm. I can imagine a lot more still. You know Scandinavians are very chill. Yeah. They are, mm -hmm. like, absolutely. Like almost to a point where uh, it like starts oh, to get sure. annoying. To yeah, me. sorry. Yeah, you just know, like, you know, yeah. do something, man. <laughs> My girlfriend's Danish, so yeah. I spend a lot of time there, and it's like it's a great departure from uh, doing like, you know, hustle around music stuff where you're like it's on a schedule, really quick, moving isn't it? all the time. Absolutely. It's nice. It's not. They're so small. I get like that. Oh, oh maybe you know, yeah. Yeah. Cabin fever or whatever, you know, yeah. like where I'm just like, okay. Crazy, mate. I feel impressive, isn't it? And uh, now I sing Okay, Case Priest. Nice. And I'm saying for everybody else, Tim Ripper Owens is my name, so yeah. you get that too. The Ripper? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what I call you, the Ripper. My daughter was really, <laughs> my daughter was really young then, and she actually thought that was why I called her. Ah, brilliant. Well, you know, I, I did a good transition because when I left Judas Priest, uh, I went to a band called Ice to Earth, and they were, uh, you know, at the time playing the same kind of crowds and stuff. So uh, it was pretty good. And since then, I, I pretty much just went, went on, and now I do mainly solo touring. You know, now to be back with with Ken and doing KK's Priest, it's really nice to uh, to be doing this. You know, and uh, uh, you know, Judas Priest was like my, my college, really, you know. Yeah. That was pretty much the thing about it. I've said it all the time, it was like my college. You know? I was in local bands, and uh, I'm from uh, Akron, Ohio, in America, and, and I was always in uh, local bands and, and stuff. I actually never planned on making it music, you know, and when, uh, there's, when Rob Halford left Judas Priest, and, and then, you know, years later they were looking for a singer, and they, they found a videotape of me and, and flew me here. Wales, actually, I went to Wales. Wales. And yeah, yeah, it's a lovely Wales. place. Yeah, so it's yeah. pretty cool. In COVID. <laughs> oh, just the right time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the right time, mate. Yeah, yeah. it's like you could pick a time to like get yeah, together. Yeah. That's Literally it. recorded the drums. But why is that? Which was the last thing? I think everything else was pretty much recorded. Tim, two. It was you and Tim, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but he went first. Oh, went. no, no, I know, right? no. Yeah, because I got. I mean, he might have done some touch up right. stuff, but I remember I came in uh, and hasn't seen not it, recorded seen the drums, it. and then like the next day. All right, well, let's go yeah. back. It's yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. the world shut down, and they're like, COVID, you have to go home, back to the States, or they won't let you in. Teenager, teenage boy. I need to get on with it.
poor ass warming up. Ready for the show? Huh? Ready for the show. Me and Lean, the Ripper Machine. <laughs> Ready for the show. There's metal in the air. <laughs> the I bet you can feel it now, can't you? Like ramping up. I can, I'm ready right now. You know what I mean? When, you know when you're ready? Yeah, you can feel it coming from your stomach to your chest. Yeah, I want it now. I want to be on there now. And you're afraid that it's going to like dwindle and the insatiable appetite might sort of like a, a well used candle just blow out, <laughs> melt away. But that's why I have to keep drinking green tea. <laughs> tea. And uh, still got the tea bag in it and it's cold, but that's what makes the world go round. Uh, black tea. <laughs> it's all there is. And you know where I forgot? My toothbrush and toothpaste. Paste. I've never been on a stage in my life and not clean my teeth. Because you just want that, you know what I mean? If you had a toothbrush, I got a toothpaste there. It's like 2004. 2004, so that's like a while. Yeah, I had a movie loosely based on us called About My Life. Uh, movie was called Rockstar. Yeah. And uh, so we got the warm ups. We got yeah. warm ups up there. I don't do much warming up myself. And um, uh, we. Uh, um, Grammy nominated, you know, went Grammys and, and, you know, two studio records, two live records, DVD. So it did quite a bit in that time. Absolutely. It was a bad time for heavy metal, though, unfortunately. In 96 to, you know, 96 to probably 2000 was just a horrible time for heavy metal. It was just wasn't popular. I mean, all the bands were playing small places. You know, grunge started and hair metal was, you know, probably put an end to heavy metal. And then grunge came along and heavy metal was really bad and it just started coming back you know it was kind of nice to see uh, yeah. probably 2000 is when it kind of started coming back yeah that's always good to hear isn't it yeah i think now we're such we're professionals where we just you know i just plug in and go play all our, i just tour non-stop around the world solo so we're, we're all such professionals yeah. with yeah. this and ken and i are such good friends and just getting back together it's just easy you know i mean this is a big show tonight though you know the first time getting up there and doing this and uh you know you want it to be right you know there's probably going to be a couple things here and there you know but yeah. 